Tell the story of the time you and I picked up a homeless guy, but mostly you, because I, I didn't know, want to do it. I was heard Zach, Zach was really scared, apparently, throughout this whole ordeal. I'd just like to hear your side <laughs> of it. <laughs> what? what are you talking he about? He told me you guys- the time, the time you and I went to get beer, and you, we went to this beer place, and you're like, oh, it's closed. And you saw some homeless scraggly dude, and he, you're like- Oh, that guy! Yeah, I, you, you, you're like, rolled down the window, Zach, and I was like, why? He was like, hey, man, I'm homeless. Wait. And Stan was like, get in the back car, my big fucking hunting knife is in the back seat. Come on, <laughs> hop in. We don't know who you are, hop in. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Do you really like direct him towards the knives and weaponry Holy shit. in the back? That's scary. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, you we know, don't do that. Well, the worst part is, Stipper, Stipper, Stipper kept going, oh yeah, please don't fucking cut my throat, I'm really bummed out. <laughs> and the guy was like, yeah, man, that's cool. He kept saying shit like that. He was like, don't fucking kill me while I'm driving. <laughs> hey, I'm a good director character. Are you still alive, Zach? <laughs> I guess you got. And then he was so fucking. This dude was just. I heard you with the kid. But no, Stamper picked up this. We went to get beer. And we stopped at this place that was closed. And Stamper fucking picked up this homeless dude who was hanging outside the beer place who wanted to get beer. He was on foot, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he's homeless. Damn. And, and then Stamper was like, get in the back, man. Where do you want to go? I mean, you know, take me anywhere. And the dude was. The dude had, he hadn't slept for two days. So he was like, go over here, man. Go over here. And he led us on the highway. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, this dude's taking us to like, some shitty shack to fucking kill us with his other homeless friends. <laughs> his cannibal friends. And Stamper kept saying, oh, yeah, don't, don't cut my throat. Don't fucking gut me and kill me. And the guy, the guy was like, really weird about it. He was like, yeah, man, I won't do that. You're probably starving. <laughs> Have you ever escalated a situation to avoid a different situation? Like, have you ever seen somebody be a weirdo so you just try to out crazy them so they leave you alone? Mm -hmm. I did that recently. I was with Chris and I. We were going to Wawa. We saw this guy oh my God. by a Papa John's in a pizza outfit. <laughs> we were walking to uh, Wawa one day, mm -hmm. and uh, like, uh, there's a Papa John's between our house and Wawa. And when we were walking towards the Papa John's, we noticed there was a guy in a pizza outfit doing a dance. I mean, he's kind of going, "Hey guys!" And, and, you, and we, he was giving it his all. He was dancing. I got the feeling we were like, "Oh, he's." And totally as we got closer, we, as we got closer, there was no avoiding him. So we were like, "Oh God, he's gonna do something." And he saw, he even saw us going like, oh, for fuck's sake. And then he still kind of like sadly, but like hopped over to us. He, he was like. So I, so I saw this guy, I was like, this guy's talking totally bothering me. He went, hey, you want some pizza? And I'm like, I love the pizza. Yeah. I love the big pepperoni. Yeah, and exactly immediately, what he said. immediately said he stepped just back like, and did <laughs> he, he immediately he held his exactly. hands up like, whoa, 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 whoa. So this guy just skipped on over to us, did a dance. He goes, you want pizza? And Zach just goes, I love it. Pizza. I want to pick up the, pepperoni. the guy, the guy, guy immediately was, fucking panicked. Like he actually away. panicked. He, you could see, he got, was visibly frightened, even though he's wearing a pizza outfit. And he like backed off and just didn't. And then like when we were walking back, he was still there. And there was he just avoided us that time. He avoided us. He, he just didn't. So that's my that's my solution. If everyone's like being crazy, but just out crazy them. They think of a psycho. Like, do that like, anyways, because we went to Giant the other day. And we were walking in. We were walking into the door. Zach like he, he got this weird burp and he just went. Ugh. And then a fucking girl walking by just looked at him in disgust and kept walking. This girl like a ponytail eating yogurt was like, Ugh. she looked looking at us like, but I was like, I was far away from her too. It was, it was like in her fucking ear. You screamed ear. it. You went, Ugh. no, it was, it was, it was like, like an I, idiot. I really went. Ugh. You know what's funny? What? When you see people on YouTube teaching their parents how to say like shit and fuck and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty asshole. Dirty asshole. Fuck off. The guy's laughing. You want to hear a story about? <laughs> want to hear a story about a, a supposed bird that's supposed to fucking recite what you say that my dad got? Oh god. Didn't do neither. It just squawked all fucking day. <laughs> so my dad got this fucking bird from like some exotic place. It was like one of those. <clears throat> I, they're like the red birds. It fucking. He, my dad got it, and he's like, man, I'm gonna. I love birds because my dad's a liar. And he got the bird, and he he got a fucking giant white cage and literally the only thing it did, did was squawk like a he, fucking did, asshole. Did, did, he, did he try to talk to it or did he just expect it to start talking to it and have a whole vocabulary? Yeah. He tried it's, talking to it. He's like, pretty birdie. He threw fucking bird food at its face. <laughs> Maybe the purpose of talking because the guy was fucking pelting this bird after one day with bird food and zings because it wouldn't recite fucking Shakespeare to him. Now hold on, okay? I, I used to have a bird when I was a kid. I liked birds, but this motherfucker was not a bird. It was an asshole. Okay, he would sit in the cage oh, while I would assholes. do this. He birds would are sit. Dicks. I know this one was, but I've had nice birds before that would come down and swoop down and steal my spaghetti, and I laughed when I was a kid. <laughs> I was fine with that. But this fucking bird, your house <laughs> was cool. Can you back up to elaborate on the spaghetti story? 
<laughs> you know, I used to have birds who would swoop down and steal your spaghetti. <laughs> and then you would laugh. Can, can would you have. elaborate and delve into that a little That's bit? That's like five. I don't that know sounds like five? awesome or terrible. That, five. Oh, you, okay. that sounds like a horribly repressed memory that I don't know. There was all these there was all these birds. They like Where? circled my room. There's was like the these, spaghetti snoodly or raw? I would eat spaghetti and they would like fucking swoop down and pack. You had a hundred like, birds in your house stealing your spaghetti? <laughs> Just what? What? They just flew around your house all day? They That's had... not important. What is important Boy. is the story about the bird in the cage. This sounds like something are you fucking schizophrenic person Are you remembering like, like a bad Ben Stiller movie? <laughs> or is this... Are you sure you're not mixing up your childhood with like a bad movie? No, this actually This happens. sounds terrifying, Corey. Oh, oh, my dad was a bird enthusiast, so we got a lot of birds at the house, and then... Okay, They, they were exciting together. because they come down <laughs> and like walk on your shoulder and, and shit and lines <laughs> down your arm yeah. while they land on yeah, you. Yeah, these were the good birds. <laughs> These were the good birds. Yeah. They were spaghetti. fucking squawking like this motherfucker who would just sit there. I'd look at it. I would look at it. I'd be like, shut up. And it'd be like, ah! Maybe you were squawking because you were telling you to shut up and stare. You were fucking staring in the eyes and telling you to shut up and uh, so what what I would do, from it. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to put a Give fucking... space, You're Corey. supposed to put a blanket over the bird, right? Not over the bird, of the cage. The what the hell are you doing, the man? The cage, whatever, the cage. <laughs> putting pillowcases on the bird and fucking stuff. Shut up. You. Okay, you put... I put... It, a pillowcase over the fucking bird. I fucking stuck it into a pillow and hit over the wall. No, I put a fucking pillowcase over the cage. Yeah. And I went to sleep. I would like just fucking use it. And it, I went to bed and I just heard it go. Ah! 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 For fucking like 20 minutes. You know how they're supposed to fall asleep because they. Feel I don't like know. I've never around. had a bird. You're supposed to put a, something over it to cover its eyes yeah. so it thinks it's nighttime. Well, this yeah. motherfucker was a bat because it never went to bed and it would squawk and squawk and squawk. Eventually, I hated your house. Well, <laughs> presents like we did last week. Corey didn't get to say what his disappointment. Oh yeah, you assholes! Was. You did a fucking Christmas special, and let me tell you something. It's because yeah. you were doing I was, shit. I understand. I was missing too. I understand, and me and Chris, uh, we talk about. The worst fucking gifts ever that we got for Christmas. I got you motherfuckers beat left and right. Yeah. There was a point. Uh, I guess I can get into this. Preach it, bro. But it's like, so you know when you want, there's like one thing you want as a kid. I'm like, I want a computer. I know it's going to be expensive, but this is all I want. This is the only thing I want for Christmas. And, and for next Christmas and last Christmas and all the Christmas ever, I want a computer. I don't care if it's a laptop. I just want a computer. Yeah. And my dad was like, okay. You know what my fucking dad get me, got me what? instead of that? Like, you know, I understand giving and stuff. He got me something on the fucking North Pole side of things of what I've wanted. <laughs> he got me a fucking metal detector. <laughs> oh, what a and, dick. And he he was like, it's it's he's like, you can create your own adventures. He was trying to like play it off. He was trying to like make it this whimsical toy. And it was the most confusing, <laughs> fucking loud, ear piercing thing I've ever heard in my life. Because when it goes next to a metal, it's like And so so it broke, obviously, because I didn't understand how to use it. And one day I was asleep, and it just went. And my dad came in, and he fucking picked it up, <laughs> slammed it on the ground, Wait, and fucking broke your it. Your dad, dude. I hate your dad. I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> he fucking smashed it like three times. He's and such he's a like, villain. And he's. <laughs> and That's he, not the worst thing he's ever and done. And then he left, and then the next morning he he was like. I did that? I didn't even know I did that. He was just so used to fucking... Your dad is such a, like, badly written villain <laughs> character. He's just over-the-top evil. He got me the beach. garden. So the next gift he got me, and I shit you not, this is the actual... He actually... Okay, so he... We went on a hike for two hours. Two hours. And then he was talking about his dad or something in the past. And then we came to a giant fucking tractor tire. It was like fucking huge it was like three of me stacked on me and he's like here's your christmas present <laughs> and I, I looked at him i was tired and exhausted and hot and Bro, sweaty and i had right. like 40 different ticks on my leg and i was just like i'm like okay and then i walked home he's like maybe someday you can have two giant tractor tires <laughs> and, and then he, you can put a tractor he, together like and then day. he told me later that the reason why he did that was because he wanted to get closer and I'm like, why didn't you just fucking talk to me? Why did you force me to go on a hike and then ground me because I walked home alone? Wait, so, no, he... I'm very confused. He brought you up a hill on a hike to give you a, a huge tire. Is this true? It was a... It was a... Yeah, it was like... He a, gave you a tire? Yeah, a tire I couldn't move because it's a fucking 100 foot tire. Why would he give you that? Because he's weird! Why would... No, but what was his logic? What, like, he had to... To, have, to get to know me better. 
Why would he give you a giant tire? To get to know you better. Because he's insane! Your dad is a fucking idiot, Corey! Cora, I don't know. Back to the babysitting thing. Me and my sister and brother, we were always left at home when my parents were at work. And we didn't have babysitters or anything because we were all kind of of age. So my parents just kind of trusted us and we were always like 14, 12, and 9 or 14, 12, and 11 or whatever the fuck. So my parents just assumed that we were old enough to hold things together. Yeah. And it doesn't sound that fucked up, but to entertain ourselves, since we didn't have much to do in the way of fun, um, we used to play hide and seek in the house, right? So like, my sister would be like, okay, you guys go hide in the house and we would find you. And then, um, so uh, me and my sister were it once and we were looking for my little brother. And I swear to Christ, we were looking for him for like two hours. And it was getting to the point where it was like, did he fucking leave the house? Like, we were really upset. And we eventually found him. It was kind of genius on his part. He hid in the dryer. So he like opened the dryer door, the clothes dryer, laundry dryer, wash. Right, right. So he hid in the thing that you pull open and go inside and close. But he, well, you guys, well, you don't necessarily do that. Or you just what's that? Are you calling his name or anything? Or yeah, totally. He couldn't hear you. And he or? was just no, he was just being a dick. He was just like hiding. <laughs> He hid in, the, and it was like a front-loading dryer. Yeah. And we were so mad, we shut him in the dryer and we turned it on. <laughs> oh my turned god, it dude. on! You could have killed him, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> what? Did you did you let it go? That full was cycle? the worst thing I've ever that's done. Terrible. That's terrible. That has. That's if that's terrible. not the worst thing you've ever done, I would be I like. I still remember <laughs> the way he was screaming. Oh my god. <laughs> Stamper! That was- <laughs> Oh, how long did- how long did Because it's like a it? drum, and it's just like- It's, it's a it's drum, you can be spinning around- right. Boom, boom! Ah! Scorching <laughs> hot yeah. water! You're scolding. cooking- you're cooking him while we can Scolding spin. while- you're boiling him! He's <laughs> laughing, he's getting <laughs> squirted by you're hot boiling water. Boiling him like a ham! Oh yeah. my god, Stamper, like, how long did you leave him in there for? You know, the sad part was me and my sister were sitting in front of the dryer, and we were laughing! I know. Oh my <laughs> fuck! and he was spinning her- Oh, jeez! <laughs> Alright, that sounds hilarious in theory. However, in practice, I know what well, you know now that I'm older uh, I get it You know when you're a kid you're just like oh it just turns around and that's how kids kill other kids But when you're older you're like oh, it's very hot in there, and it's really dangerous <laughs> And you shouldn't oh, do that. Oh, in, in hindsight. It's worse yeah, than Yeah, in I've hindsight. Hey Corey, remember that time you told us about uh, the Power Rangers kid? The Power Rangers kid. Yeah. Talk, uh, can you talk about that to end this podcast? Yeah. Because I guess people ask about that. I don't know if I left on a high note and kept the kept the cliffhanger rolling, <laughs> jumped the shark at that moment. I like the story. Um, basically, we knew this kid next door who always wanted to like hang out with us, and we were like too cool for school. We we're playing DBZ and, and like laughing it up, and he would be like, "Hey, I like the Power Rangers." We we're like, "Yeah, I grew out of that idiot." So we didn't. We were jumping on a trampoline, shooting our Kamehameha as being cool, and he'd come over in his fucking like Power Rangers tidy whities all the time, yeah. and he would like try and jump on us and be like, "I'm the Red Ranger," and we'd fucking like kick him in the forehead, and <laughs> knock his stupid ass into the dog den. The dog would come all over him. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> why even say that? Go on, Corey. Go on. Finish your story. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, <can't> Cory? <laughs> I'm just remembering us doing <laughs> Just fucking kicking his stupid ass off the fucking trampoline <laughs> into the dog hole. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, we went over there once, and he was... He, we went over there once, um, um, me and my friend Dylan, and he was like doing like a... He pulled his shirt over his head and he fucking pulled his pants down and he did a Power Rangers dance completely naked with his like fucking eight year old dick hanging out. <laughs> and you know, like, and then we were like, gross, you're gay. And then we ran home and, and, and we had popsicles. But Dylan took the last fucking popsicle I wanted. So I was stuck with. That's what I remember. <laughs> I forgot about the dick part, and I was so mad that, that fucking Dylan took the, stra the fucking strawberry popsicle, and I had to be stuck with shitty grape, and that motherfucker, I for completely forgot about it. I remember, like, he was doing, like, some, like, YMCA dance with his fucking shirt over his head and his dick hanging out, but I more remember the popsicle do. thing. You remember more about the popsicles than you do about the baby dick. Because that was the last time I had cherry popsicles in a while. I hate cherry. <laughs> Well, this has been Sleepy Cast. Uh, uh, Chris, Nile, Corey, say bye. What kind of ending is that? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what to say.